Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a spring closet declutter. It's going to be a long one, so thank you for joining me. Ugh. This is so beautiful. I got it from Free People, and I've only worn this once. But look at the detail on the bottom. So beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about this. So here I have all my skirts. I have a plaid one, which I love. This, I don't really get a lot of use out of. I got it from Reformation, and I really don't wear it that much, but it's really cute. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This is a jean skirt from Reformation that we're gonna hang on to it and see if I wear it for summer, and if not, I'll reevaluate in the fall. These are the only two belts I own, and I kind of want to find a replacement belt for this because it's very plain, and I kind of want a little bit more of a flashy buckle on my belt. So I've been eyeing one online, but I haven't yet purchased it. So I'm going to hang on to this until I purchase that new belt. This I'm going to keep. I wear it a lot in the winter. Uh, this is from Brandy Melville. You can't go wrong with a with a turtleneck sweater, so I'm gonna keep this one. Oh, Patagonia. I don't really wear this one that much. I might keep it around. I'll reevaluate in the fall. Oh, this is my cardigan from And Other Stories. Oh my gosh, I wear it so much. I love this cardigan. This is staying. Uh, I have like two button up tops that are, s I wore mainly to work, but due to current circumstances in the world, I haven't worn them in over a year. I don't want to get rid of them just yet. This is a new purchase from Reformation. Oh man, I still have the tag on it, but I love it and I am definitely keeping this one. This is a purchase from Doen. It's so beautiful and light. I only wear it in the summertime because it's a very thin material and it's kind of see-through too, but I love it, so I'm gonna keep it. And then this one is also a linen, old Reformation linen top. I don't wear it as much anymore and it's starting to yellow a little bit in the armpit, but I haven't tried to clean it, so maybe the yellow will come out, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, these are all of my tank tops. Most of them, oh my gosh, these are all from Reformation. This one I don't really wear that much, but I have a little bit of a stain on it, so I don't want to try to sell it yet. I want to like try to clean it to see if the stain will come out, and then if it does, I'll probably sell this one because it's such a staple to have, but I don't wear it. This I love, I'm not going to get rid of. This one I just bought, and I still have a tag on it, but... I bought it during quarantine, so I haven't had an occasion to wear it yet. And then these two are so beautiful. I love the print of both of them, and I'm keeping both. Jeans. This is from, they're both from Levi's. This one I bought during quarantine. This is a really old pair that is starting to like get holes in it naturally, not pre-made holes. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Our first thing we're getting rid of. And it's so old, I don't think I could resell it. These two jeans are from Everlane. I I mean, this is my only light wash jean, and this is the only black, plain black jean I own. So we're keeping both. Oh, this pant is my favorite pant I own because it's not a jean, and it's so comfortable to wear. Um, and then this one I got from Madewell, and it's like a corduroy style flare type of jean. I love both of these, so I'm keeping them. All right, here is where we're kind of getting into iffy territory. So these jeans are definitely not in style anymore. I got them from Express years ago, and they have holes on the legs, like all the way up and down. I'll try it on later, but I think I'm ready to give it away. I'm gonna try them on to see if that's what I wanna do. This pair I got on Poshmark, they're originally Reformation, and they're one of my only wide leg jeans, but I don't really wear them that much. And I bought it during quarantine, so maybe 
I should still give it, I should give it a couple months to see if I pull for it post-quarantine. This I got from Ann Taylor years ago, and it's like, yeah, this should not, this should not be breaking, but it's breaking, so I might, I may say goodbye to it. I love the color though. Ah, I'm going to try it on. We're trying this on. Okay. These jeans are super tight on me. It's definitely not in style because skinny jeans are dead, am I right? And it has, this is my most ripped pair of jeans that I own. But they make my legs look good. So I'm going to try them on. These two I'm keeping. This is just a rain jacket. And this is good for those cold nights or when I just want to wear something comfy. Now we're getting into puffers and bombers. I have a puffer vest, which is just practical. Um, I have this bomber from Express. I always get loads of compliments on it. And I love the unique detailing. And then this is a Patagonia bomber. It's one of the ones that folds up and folds into itself and it's very lightweight and easy to pack when you're going to a colder climate. So definitely convenient to have. This is a jean jacket from Express. I guess it's good to have like at least one jean jacket in your closet, although I don't really wear jean jackets that often. I'm gonna put this on the baby pile. And then this is just a fur jacket I got from my mom and I like the color. So we're keeping this. Uh, these two are sweatshirts from Everlane. This one is a hooded one and this is no hood. I wear this a lot just lounging around my house. And this one I don't wear as much because I don't I figured out after buying this, I don't like wearing things with hoods because it's annoying putting over my head. So I don't wear this too often. But when I do wear it I get compliments because it has a unique design where it's slit on the side. So I'll revisit in the fall. So this is a sweatshirt that has little specks of color in it. And I got it from Express and it goes with those Ann Taylor leggings. So I'm just gonna try it on to see how it makes me feel when it's on. This is a Reformation top and I like the color, but I also ordered a dress in this color that might look better on me than this top. So I'm gonna wait for that dress to come in and if I like it, I might just use that dress to replace this top and sell this top on my Poshmark. So we, we are, this is probably going to be sold. So this is an Everlane lightweight tank top. And this, the strings are just so long on me that I don't really wear it that much. But I like the lightweightness of the top. So I don't know. We'll, we'll try. I also need to buy new nippies so I can wear this without a bra because somebody stole my nippies. We are gonna put this in the baby as well. And then I have two long cardigans that I never wear, but I used to wear it in the office so that when I was wearing a shirt with like no sleeves, I could just cover it up with a cardigan and it's still work appropriate. So I don't know like my work situation given today's time, so I, I should probably just keep both, but they don't really make me feel like that beautiful when I wear it. I'm gonna put this in the baby pile. We're gonna go back to it. All right. Let's... This is a button up from Reformation. It's really good material, but I've just never worn it. So I actually, I'm selling this. I'm definitely selling this one because it's just nothing that I reach for, although it's so classic. So we, we're selling that. This is a jacket from Express. I've owned for years but I don't really reach for this ever. So we're gonna, we're gonna maybe sell this. Yeah, I might sell this. I don't really wear jean jackets ever. And I got this one years ago. It's by the brand Paige. I'll probably sell this one. The thing is my mom got it for me and it kind of makes me feel guilty to say that I wanna sell it but I literally never wear this. I don't like light colored jean material. Like, I don't wear light colored jeans. And so this is not something that I gravitate to ever. I have this shirt I got in Hawaii at a Uniqlo and this is their 
Hawaii Uniqlo collection. So they only sell this in Hawaii. It's so soft, but I don't wear it. So I'm selling this for sure. This is a Reformation crop top that I bought for Halloween so I could look like Morty from Rick and Morty, but that phase of my life is definitely over. So we are selling this. This is a really nicely made blazer that I have never worn. I got it because I graduated college and I thought, you know what, I need blazers now. And I really didn't, and I'm not a blazer girl. So this was a purchase regret because I'm not living a life where I need blazers. So <laughs> selling this. This is where all my dresses live and I have a couple of dresses that I just don't know if I want to keep around. There's this one. This is my only dress I own that has very large print on it. And I think the print is so beautiful, but I haven't really reached for it in a while. Although when I wear it, I always get compliments. And it's starting to get a little bit tight on me because I have gained a little bit of weight from quarantining. Let's be honest. So it, like, I have to be conscious when I wear it, which is never a good thing. So it's a size zero. I might list it and see what happens. It pains me because I think this is such a beautiful print. It's so, it's so pretty. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try it on and see what happens. <laughs> this is another dress I never really wear. And I don't really wear like short mini dresses anymore. I wore this to Coachella. And that was the first and only time I ever wore it. And I'm not really the type of person to go out and party. And this is like such a... I want it to have a better life than what I'm giving it. I want it to live a long and fulfilled life. And right now it's just sitting in the closet. And I might have to say goodbye to this one. It pains me. Like, look at this. Uh, the print is so pretty. But I, I think I'm going to sell this one. I never really wear this one either anymore, although it's so beautiful and it's, uh, I don't think I could get rid of this one. It's such an easy dress because it's not like form fitting. Here's a dress that I only wore for photos. It's from Express and why I got it was because the back is so beautiful. It has this little, uh, look at how it drapes, it's so pretty. I got it from Express and the only reason why I never wore it is because this is such a deep v-neck and I don't really like showing off my boobs, nor do I own boob tape, so I just haven't chosen this when I've been going out. I might try to sell this as well. It's in perfect condition. Never gone out with me. The material of this is so good and I'm not a huge fan of this anymore because I don't work in an office anymore. It's so nice. It's from Express, but it's really good quality. I am going to, I'm going to try on the clothes that I had put in the maybe pile and see how they make me feel. And then I'll catch up with you in a moment.